Hey guys, national sales coach Wade Conway, author of the book Never Settle for Par, here to talk to you today about visualization. So, visualization um, on the golf course, that's probably the most important thing that you can do to lead yourself to give yourself a chance to have a great round out there. There's not anything you can do to positively affect the round of golf that you're having by focusing on your golf swing itself. Um, by the time you get to the golf course, the old West Texas saying is you got, you got to dance with the one that brung you. So there's not anything you could do to have a positive effect on your golf game by trying to change, you know, the tempo of your swing per se, or the face angle or things like that. You know, the thing that you have most of your people focusing on as a golf instructor uh, at the highest level is visualizing what you want the shot to do. So visualizing on that level can take the most difficult tee shot into a fierce win with out of bounds on both sides of the golf course and turn that into a success or a really difficult shot over uh, water all the way to a, a tight pin tucked on a, a par three green. Uh, it can give you a success in that. And it's the proper visualization, focusing on what you want to have happen not what you don't want to have happen. And the importance of that is, uh, according to uh, Maxwell Maltz in one of his most uh, famous books that is, was the most popular book read among PGA Tour players when I was in college, um, it says that the brain uh, does not know the difference between yes and no as far as visualizing goes. So if you picture the ball going into the water, you can't tell it, don't go into the water. If it sees the ball going into the water, all it really understands and interprets that is, hit the ball in the water. If you see the ball going out of bounds, it interprets that into, hit the ball out of bounds. So what you've got to do is acknowledge that there are obstacles out there, but you can't focus on that. You've got to focus on what you want to have happen, the positive outcomes you want to have happen. So... Bob Rotella, a famous sports psychologist, said a golfer must lock his or her mind on the smallest possible target. And that's a really good way uh, of describing what focus is like, is really focusing on what you want to happen, not what you don't want to happen. Um, we're talking about, you know, the detail of what you want to happen. Um, in the movie Seven Days, from, uh, Seven Days in Utopia, uh, the author... Um, David Cook tells a story about his uh, late golf professional, Jari Ani, Johnny Ariaga, and explained that every time that you walk up to the tee, you have to have a blank canvas in front of you. You've got to be able to paint the picture before you ever pull the club back to hit the shot. Paraphrasing that story, you've got to see what you want the shot to look like very vividly before you can produce it. He said, whenever I hit a great shot, all I'm really doing is signing the painting that I created in my mind. So how does that play out into your sales life? You've got to be able to, to visualize the results you want from your sales activity, from the next cold call that you have doing, going on, for what you want your annual uh, income to look like. And it's not just enough to visualize that number. You've got to get specific on what that would look like when you're spending that money so you know if your goal is to make one hundred fifty thousand dollars this year and you've never made more than a hundred thousand dollars in the past what's that extra fifty thousand dollars going to do for you is that going to turn into a, a trip that you can take that you might not have taken before maybe a new vehicle that you might buy and if you want to really get your mind to buy into that then you've got to experience that on the highest level so you need to go out and test drive that new BMW 740i that you might want. See what the leather feels like underneath you. You really got to make that experience as real as you possibly can. So, you know, Dr. Maxwell Maltz said, your brain can't tell the difference between a vividly visualized experience and the real thing. That's why when you're having a nightmare, you wake up and your uh, heart is pumping a thousand miles an hour and your body sometimes jumps and wakes itself up. So it's because you're having a very vivid, visualized experience in that dream life, and your body thinks it's real. So 
when you can experience something or you could visualize something on that high level, um, it becomes real in your mind. So if you want to see yourself accomplishing that goal, um, making that income, if you can visualize it on the highest level, that's how you can make it become true. So since your mind doesn't know the difference um, between the, the visualized experience and the real thing, go ahead and visualize yourself making that income. And then you can start painting the picture in your mind of you signing the checks that it takes to buy that new car or that new house. Coach Conway coming at you with the third installment from Never Settle for Par on Visualization.